Hey, what's up? Today I'm gonna show you how to install custom skins and how to make your own. Before we do that though, let me start off by addressing a frequently asked question. Is using custom skins bannable? I personally have been making and using custom skins since 2015 and I've never been banned. Just follow these 5 rules and you will be fine. Don't install skins which give an unfair advantage, like showing hitboxes. Don't install copy-pasted official Riot skins, only original custom skins. No 18 plus mods like gore or nudity. You are not allowed to profit monetary gain off of custom skinning. And lastly, only use trustworthy websites and programs for custom skinning. Right now I'm using LOL Custom Skin Manager, or LCS for short, which is provided through the Killer Skins website. Now with that out of the way, let's get started. To install custom skins you will need the LOL Custom Skin Manager. I have linked it in the video description. When you click on it, it should look like this. Download the latest version, which in my case is LOL Custom Skin Tools 11.24. Go to where the downloaded file is. Now create a folder on your desktop in which you can drop it. Give the folder a name, like LOL Custom Skin Manager, so you can find it when needed. Now drop the downloaded file LOL Custom Skin Tools Windows into the folder. Then right click the file and hit Extract here. Open the folder it extracted and look for the LCS Manager Axi. It should be easy to find because of its weep icon. Start the exe and it should ask you to select the League of Legends exe. Hit Browse in the bottom right corner and then go to where your League exe is. The basic file path to it should be somewhat like mine in the video. First I go to this PC or user. Then onto my local disk where I saved League then into the Riot Games folder and then into the League of Legends folder. There are three EXEs here, but they are only for the client and not the ones we are looking for. Click on the game folder and in it should be the League of Legends application. If you found it, click the application and hit open in the bottom right. Now your LCS is set up and ready to install skins. Now let's download a skin. Go to killerskins.com and hover over all mods. Go to champions and it will lead you to the champion list. They are sorted by alphabetical order. So if we want to install a skin for Blitzcrank for instance, we will have to go to the B section. From there, just click the champion picture and it will show all of the available skins. Let's just take this skin here to show off the installation. Click it and scroll down until you find the download button. Hit the download button on the website it sends you to. Most of the time it's Mediafire or Mega. Go to the file location of the just downloaded file and put it where you can easily find it. I suggest making a folder for your skins, but for now I just drop it on my desktop. To install the skin, just drag and drop it onto LCS. The skin is now installed, but deactivated. Click the check mark on the left and then hit run on the top right. Simply hit the stop button to deactivate the skin again. You can also activate the skin while the leak client is open, but never activate one in the loading screen. It will mess up your files. If you are unsure if a skin will work or not, it's best to quickly test it in the practice tool. This skin seems to be working with no problems. Now that you know, you can go into the real game and enjoy the custom skin. Have fun! Alright, now that we know how to install custom skins, the next step is to make your own. By now, the normies have clicked off the video. What remains is chat-like creatures such as yourself and I, who are looking to create their own skins. So without further ado, let's get started. In addition to LCS, you will also need Obsidian, 
to get the leak files and another program to edit them. I personally use paint.net to make all of my custom skin edits. I even made the Tyler 1 skin with that. To get Obsidian, follow the link in the description to this website and follow the latest version. Find your downloaded Obsidian RAR or ZIP and drag it into a folder you made for it. I called mine here Obsidian Folder, so I can easily find it. Right click the file inside the folder and hit Extract here. Then click on the Obsidian XE it just gave you. The program sets itself up, there's nothing more you need to do for it to work. To access the leak files, hover over File and click Open. Then find your game folder to get to the data. Usually, the directory should be like this. This PC or user, the place where you saved leak, in my case local disk C, then Riot Games, League of Legends, Game, Data and Final and then Champions. If you did everything right, there's gonna be a list of champion files. For this video, let's find and edit Master Yi's files. Just type the champion name in the search bar on the bottom until it shows you the results you want. Click on Master Yi, what, client and hit open. Ignore the files that have an en underscore us. They are localization files and are just for sound, not visuals. Once you opened the file, click the arrow next to assets. Then characters, then master Yi, then skins, and then base. You can also get the files of other master Yi skins, but for now we will just edit the base skin. Clicking on the skin file gives you a preview of what it looks like. The files with a times 4 and times 2 in the front are lower resolutions of the original. They are used when you turn down the graphic settings in game. There's also the master Yi loading screen. All files that end with DDS can be edited in Paint and Photoshop. Hit the check marks next to all files you want, then go to File at the top left. Click Extract Selected and make yourself a folder in which you save your extracted files. Then find and choose your new folder to extract the files there. You can now minimize or close Obsidian, you won't need it anymore. Now open paint.net to edit the files we just extracted. Simply drag and drop the ones you want to work on. To change the look of Master Yi, we can use all the tools and effects Paint has to offer. If I would want some red race car lines on my sword, I can just do that with the paintbrush. But apart from small details, the paintbrush usually looks shit. I suggest using the lasso to circle areas and change them all at once. Hit S on your keyboard to switch to the lasso or just click Tool on the top left to choose from the different options. Let's do something simple and just make a Master Yi Chroma. Use the rectangle lasso on the entire file. Then click Adjustments on the top and hit Hue and Saturations. You now have three sliders for Hue, Saturation and Lightness. Shift them around until your skin has a color you like and hit OK. Then hit enter to deactivate the lasso and you are done. To make sure your skin works on all graphic settings, copy and paste your work onto the lower graphic skins. First drag and drop the lower resolution skin files into paint. Then copy the skin you made with Ctrl C. Paste it onto the lower resolution file with Ctrl V. Click Keep Canvas Size so the resolution stays the same. Now resize the skin file by dragging it at the corner until it's perfectly aligned over the other file. Do that for the other file too. Remember to always click Keep Canvas Size when pasting it on. You can also change the look of the loading screen image. When you are done, click the red X at the top of the file preview to close it. Hit save and then click OK. Make sure it says BC1 linear at the top left when saving it. 
If you have a transparent part in a skin, you will need BC3. But this mostly applies to just ability particles. For most skins, you will choose BC1. Now make a new folder for your skin and give it a name. I will call mine Blue Master Yi for obvious reasons. Here's the most important part to make a working skin. The directory of your skin folder has to be exactly the same as the one of the leak files. First create a folder inside your new folder named Assets. Then go inside Assets and make a folder named Characters. Go inside the Characters folder and make a folder named after the champion, in this case Master Yi. Now go into the Master Yi folder and make a new one called Skins. Go into the Skins folder and make a new one named Base. Into the Base folder you can now copy and paste your skin files. If you make a skin and it doesn't work, at least half of the times you just messed up the file path. So make absolutely sure it's correct. Now that the skin is ready, we can just drag and drop it into LCS like we do with skin files. Hit the check mark on the left and then run on the top right to activate the skin and it's ready to go. Start a practice game to test if it works and make sure to choose the skin you replaced. In this case, Base Master Yi. Et voila, another beautiful skin. And this is basically how you custom skin. If you get a lot of practice in with Paint or Photoshop, you can make some amazing creations. Anyway, I hope this video helped you. If it did, leave a like and subscribe, cause I'm gonna make more custom skin content in the future.